uh, loader. So are you looking to parse a JSON file? And you, you know, in make.com and Zapier, it's much easier. So in make.com, where I come from, where I come from. So you can just take the parse JSON module, parse JSON, parse JSON module. And you just put the code in that you need. And uh, for example, we're just gonna put this in and we're gonna put this as a empty field. We're just gonna put 2025 and this should once you run this, this is your mock data and I'm going to remove this because if you're going to run this with that, it's not going to return it. It just needs to have a JSON file, right? So this should be okay now. So as you can see, we have the data that we need. Oh, <laughs> oh we're going to use the arrow. There you go. I was almost painting the whole window for you guys. I'm an artist. So yeah, you have the JSON file and you can now use these data in the next field. Let's say you put the variable and you can use this later on. That's the benefit of the JSON files, right? It gives you objects. So parse JSON. If you go to, if you go to NA10 here, sadly, we don't have any parse JSON module. It just works a little bit differently here. So parse JSON, you don't have JSON, you don't have. So there are two, two, two ways that I found. There's one mock data that you can use. And this one, you need to put return first with double brackets and then these two. So the mock data, I just found it here. Um, you can actually, you can actually use the code node or the edit fields node or the mock data node. Okay. So let me show you how it is. So if you go to, to mock data here, so if you go to the NA10 uh, community, you can see people are talking about this mock data and you can actually just Come here, click this, copy, and then paste it for yourself, yeah? So if you paste this here, you can see the mock data is ready for you to fiddle with, okay? So if you run this, you can see the JSON format is ready to be used. So mock data is one way. You can also use coding. I didn't crack that one, that top nut yet, but I got a better one for you. So this one might be the closest to what we have in Make, and it's edit fields. So you can actually just paste your code here. So if we just put our code right here. So I just went to make.com, copied the code and paste it in here. It should work perfectly. And now we can use this data later on. So you don't even need to use the mock data. You can just use the edit fields and this can go here. So we can just disconnect this, put this onto that and then put this onto that. So that's how you that's how you do it in uh, NA10 parse JSON or put mock data or variables, you know, however, however you want to see that. So if you enjoyed this video, watch this other video and see you there. Bye.